So let's uh, take one of these uh, dual H-Bridge motor drivers that use the L9110S chip or chips in this case that you can get for about a dollar ten to two bucks just about anywhere off the internet. Let's use it to control a gearhead motor that gives us forward and reverse control from a single control line that go that would be go low to, to change the direction. And over here this little pile of crap. I actually have one set up we'll, and we'll discuss what's going on here. I'm going to use uh, three pen light batteries, 4.5 volts to control it. And you can see right now the motor is turning in this direction and to trigger it I'm just using this photo cell light sensitive resistor so every time it goes low it reverses the direction of the motor doesn't have to be a photo cell. I just wanted to show a very basic sensor that could be used to control the circuit. It could be anything. You could use other other Arduino type uh, sensors, a sound sensor, light sensor, uh, radio control sensor, tone decoder, what whatever it is that you want to use. Tactile switch, like if you were building something and it bumped into a wall. This gives you a single line control so that you don't need an Arduino control unit to interface with these little drivers. The uh, the price is so right in these little drivers that they're perfect for being used in these types of projects. So what's basically going on here in order to control this from a single line is we're going to take, this is your channel A and this is your channel B, we're going to use channel B simply as an inverter. and these pull-up resistors pull the two control lines going to that chip normally high. In this case, I have an X there. We don't connect anything to this one, so it consider that pin normally high. This is uh, representing the switch. This is ground, a little push-button type thing saying, well, if you close that, you'll get ground there because normally it's being pulled high. Same thing's coming down to channel A on this one. But let's stay up here for a moment. If these are both high, the outputs here according to the truth table I know the truth table is confusing to some because they show low they actually doesn't go low they actually go open circuit it's actually a tri-state output so anytime both control lines to this chip are the same if they're both high open outputs if they're both low open outputs very handy thing because you can then make uh, a very interesting inverter type out of this and that's what we're doing with this one when this change of state here happens is actually will give us an inverted output signal that we can then use. So now let's go down to channel A. Just your normal motor is connected to the two output lines. We have one output line here that's normally held high coming out to the switch just like that one did. And we have the other control line being held low with a 2.7k resistor to ground. So what that means this is already in a given state. We have a high and we have a low. And in, and in the actual case of the way these chips are laid out with these, it's, it's flipped. Your, your high would then be here and your low would then be there to drive. But if we come off this same pin that we've now forced to be low and bring it up here to this one, which is going to become high once that's triggered, because this X one is high, this one is high, two highs mean open circuit, so nothing's happening there. That means this stays low. When you ground this, you suddenly have a low here. You have a high there. And because they, they crisscross, that means this high appears here. So then we can then change this pin to high. We've already changed this one to low by pushing the button. So that reverses it. So that's how you can get a, a, a motor reverse, forward and reverse, if you will, with a single control line closure to ground by doing nothing more than adding a 2.7k resistor and a jumper wire. Very inexpensive way of uh, adding uh, obstacle avoidance whether you were using an infrared sensor or a light sensor or a sound sensor or a tone decoder or a whisker switch or just about anything you can think of or maybe you have a single channel RC remote either infrared or radio that you want to interface and it's a single line. Could be handy in, in all of those type applications.